My family's been in logging since my great-grandfather, William Henry, and then my grandpa, Melvin Jeffers, and then my dad, me, and my son. Both my brothers logged at one time, but they had both been hurt in the woods, and they have different occupations now. I think about this a lot, but I've never really spoke about it. So originally the tribes uh, in Western Oregon owned about 14 million acres of land and that was all ceded away in, in seven treaties. And so we ended up with a 60,000 plus acre reservation right here. It amazes people that you're a Native American and I guess that kind of that's almost like prompted me being even more proud of who I am because I feel like I should share my knowledge. I should share who I am with others. And I love talking about my tribe with other people because I love being able to educate them about something they don't hear about in schools. They don't hear about it, you know, from their parents or from kids around them. So being able to be something special makes you proud. I've thought about the past and you know, who has been in this spot, you know, years ago. Especially when there's, you know, you're working next to old logs, old stumps, old growths. When you come out of high school, as I said, there's several there wasn't a whole lot of opportunities, but I think for a lot of the kid, you know, the group that I grew up with around here. When you look back on them, they, they were almost all became loggers. I mean, but not, not necessarily because they had to, but because they wanted to. And uh, we all knew the dangers of it. 